guys, Marseng here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today I'm going to be taking the EZA LR Metal Cooler Army into the Cell Max event because of course he is an int unit but he is also an artificial life forms unit which is one of the categories that was given a significant damage buff against Cell Max. Now obviously it doesn't affect how good they are defensively so he could potentially still be... Um, you know, in a bit of trouble. However, he is an int unit, so we would expect him to perform at least somewhat reasonably. Um, so let me go ahead, get the 18 key super. And then of course, as I mentioned when we did just the straight up rainbow showcase for him when his EZA came out, his 18 key super attack effect uh, lasts for two turns. So he's not just buffing himself and then the units that are attacking after him in the same turn, but he's also buffing all of the units on the next rotation as well. I'm just double checking the super attack effect here. Uh, Ultra super is raises extreme class allies. Yeah, it's attack by 30% for two turns. So not only is the unit after him on this rotation going to get that 30% extra attack, but so are all of the units on the next turn, which... I mean, that's a pretty significant buff, right? Because let's just say, for example, not in this event, because, you know, we wouldn't necessarily run all of those units. But let's say on the turn following Metal Cooler, you have STR LR Cooler, STR EZA Cooler, and then you have another support unit like Cooliza, right? That kind of turn with the double support makes LR Cooler look like an absolute god. And then if you think that turn following on from a turn where you got... <laughs> the 18 key super with the metal cooler army he then has another 30 percent attack stacked on top of that i actually might try and get that rotation um and just post like screenshots on twitter or something because yeah like if he's fully built up and you manage to get that rotation following on from the metal cooler army 18 key super i can't even imagine like the, he would he would hit such an insane number like i've seen my lr cooler is obviously rainbowed i've seen him fully maxed out with that like double support turn of um easy a str cooler and Kaliza, like hitting like 18 million attack stats and stuff so i would be very interested to see what kind of uh numbers he's gonna put out on the turn following that metal cooler um army super attack on that kind of rotation that would be pretty crazy so metal cooler obviously overall he doesn't have any sort of like infinite stack of defense he doesn't build up or anything he's just kind of as he is right 100 percent attack and defense start of turn recovers 8 percent hp the more hp you have remaining he gets another up to 100 percent hp uh sorry attack and defense buff that's based on the hp so that's one thing that could be bad for uh cell max because obviously cell max can hit you pretty damn hard um, you can often be in a situation where you get onto the next turn and whilst you may have survived, be on very, very low HP. And that will, of course, quite negatively affect this um, Metal Cooler army. Now, unfortunately, we had both of the... Uh, we had both of the LR Metal Coolers on the same turn, which means we've completely missed out um, the ability to have our boy linked up with one of them because obviously they're his best link partner he only gets two links from lr golden freezer which is a little bit disappointing so he is at 216k defense now remember he raises defense on both of his super attacks um so if we get the additionals he has what two guaranteed additional attacks that have a medium chance to become a super and then what did i actually give mine in the hidden potential um yeah, most... Actually, he's kind of got... Is that exactly 19 for both? Or is it only 10 additional? He's only got 10 additional, but the chance to trigger the uh, third... Like, the fourth attack, it's... With 10 additional, that would be a 20% chance, but it'll be rolled for, like, three times because he's attacking three times during the turn already anyway. So, ideally, against Cell Max, we would, of course, hope that we're going to get as many super attacks as possible so that we can actually get some solid defense but i mean 200k to start from is pretty good and then we have our golden freezer because it's we got to the tech phase on turn three uh he won't have lost much of his damage reduction so if he eats a super attack um we should survive um we'll see hopefully metal cooler army will survive a super as well but i guess it depends how many times they super attack so it kind of all comes down to RNG, which is not great um, when you're against particularly tough bosses, right? It was people's big gripe with STR LR Cooler when he came out. If you get 
super unlucky with his additionals, then you could end up having too low defense to survive some of these big hits from like the big red zone losses. But look at that, 6.5 million damage and his additional super only doing 2.8 attacks that, but then we crit for 4.5 million damage because of that artificial life forms buff. And then you can see, so we only got two supers. That's uh, unfortunate. Because he doesn't, I just realized, of course, his passive, he has a high chance of launching up to two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance to become a super. So unfortunately, if you get the worst possible turn RNG, then um, you can just get no additional attacks at all. None from his passive, none from the hidden potential. So that is a little bit unfortunate, and that is obviously something you're going to have to bear in mind if you want to use him in these tougher events, uh, because he will be relying on getting those additional supers in order to get his defense. So we'll see how this turn plays out. Um, we do have the attack buff from the Metal Cooler army from the previous turn. Um, this Freezer, uh, because we are fighting a tech enemy, he uh, does have his damage reduction. Oh, Metal Cooler... Uh, Cell Max not going to super attack him. That's interesting, because unfortunately, I think that means here if uh, STR Final Form Cooler doesn't go absolutely ham with his super attacks, I think we might die to a super here. Actually, I'm not even sure. Have I had a rotation in a run where we get, like, all the supers with Cooler, and then he gets super attacked by Cell Max? I'm not sure. But I guess it doesn't matter, because he didn't come in clutch with the additionals anyway. And he's not going to dodge. He took double digits from the normal attacks, but... Yeah, why couldn't this guy have just super attacked the uh, Freezer in slot 1 with his damage reduction? Because he was taking a lot from normal attacks, but because he has damage reduction, we would have taken a fair bit less from the super. So let me uh, jump back in and we'll get a rotation against the Texel Max where we actually have uh, the LR Metal Cooler army linked up with one of the LR Metal Coolers. Because it was quite unfortunate that we had them both on the same turn. Okay, so we've managed to get back to uh, Cell Max with this rotation. Uh, funnily enough, we managed to get to the tech phase on turn four, and then <laughs> there was only one attack in slot one, so I put the other LR Metal Cooler there, and uh, yeah, he, he bit the big one, and uh, we got the revive, but that works out quite nicely in our favor, because it meant we get to come into this phase on basically full health, which means that the uh, Metal Cooler has his full passive active. So hopefully we should actually get to see him take some hits. So I'll get a super attack for you. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, I don't think he raises defense on super. And then we'll get some key for you. And then, yeah, let's see how we go. So hopefully we get a good turn where we actually do get some additional supers with the Metal Cooler army. Um, I would like to see him. It would be good if, is he being attacked twice? It'd be good if those two attacks were a normal and then a super. That would be a pretty good, like, overall indication of how much he's uh, going to take. So, 6 mil with the Artificial Life Forms buff. That is a pretty decent amount of damage. We get one additional super. 3.8. Come on. Give me at least one more. Hey, oh, no. Additional normal. Okay, so we only saw him take normal attacks. But he took double digit damage. And then the LR Cooler in slot 3 gets to make, uh, gets to have the benefit of that 30% additional attack. Um, and then he gets the additional super as well. Uh, unfortunately though, with <laughs> Cell Max not having super attack yet this turn, I have a feeling that a super attack might be in this Metal Cooler's future, yeah. And unfortunately, the other one has already revived, so we are about to get KO'd for the game over. But, the Metal Cooler army... Um, able to take double digit damage from Cell Max whilst dishing out quite a decent amount of damage himself because of the artificial life forms buff. So I know at this point most people have potentially completed Cell Max, but if you still need to do the artificial life forms mission, um, this guy certainly is quite useful. And uh, that extra support that he gives on the super attack, uh, you can really feel the benefit of that in the next turn. So I do actually quite like this unit. Um, I do think, as I said in the previous showcase for them, they could still obviously be a liability against these harder bosses. You know, if you go up against, like, Red Zone Broly, um, he's not going to survive a super attack from him. But, you know, he's pretty good. And he's providing support to the Artificial Life Forms allies as well. Three key and 30% defense. So, I do think he is pretty decent. He came out on Global way too late, but... He's definitely not, like, completely terrible, right? So let me know what you guys think down below of the LR Metal Cooler Army EZA. Um, I think he's pretty decent, but 
I think he definitely could have been better. And with how much it costs to actually buy like all of the medals and all of the copies from the actual uh, Battlefield shop, it would be nice if these Battlefield LRs were a little bit better. Because even when a new one comes out, it's then what, like minimum of like six, eight months up to a year or more till you can actually then get them to be rainbow. Um, so I feel like they should be a lot better. And then when their EZAs finally come out, um, if, especially if the medals are going to cost so many battlefield points, I feel like they should be more in tune with the meta for when they first came out. You could probably argue that they were a lot better at the time when they came out on JP. And that's the, that's the main problem with this being delayed for so long for them coming out to global. But I still think they can be pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.